My name is Jonathan Stroud and I'm a craftsman. Always been an artist, I loved creating, working with my hands, taking things apart and seeing how things worked and that's what kind of led me to you know, work on cars for a long time. So when I was about 21, I was talking with a friend and he had suggested that I go to a school out in California and it sounded really interesting to me and conversing with different classmates, meeting classmates, it's kind of how I got to know my wife. I didn't at first think, oh, he's cute or anything like that, but um, he just seemed like a nice guy. After we got married, I really wanted my wife to get to know my family and we lived in Ohio and for about a year and that's you know, it's where I got into working with the cabinetry with the Amish. We ended up getting a job offer in the Bay Area, in San Francisco Bay Area. So we ended up packing up from Ohio and then we moved back to to California here into the Bay and um, I started working on hardwood floors. He would take pictures of his jobs and he would do these beautiful hardwood floors with, you know, just gorgeous work. Just the feeling of actually working with my hands and then and knowing I have like a, a plan for my family because because you know, I have a baby coming on the way, I'm I'm apprenticing to take over a business, and and just the excitement in that, I was like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna be successful. The day that my accident happened just kind of started like any other day. It was, you know, I got up in the morning and always gave my wife a kiss and a hug goodbye, and as she rested with the baby, you know, we just had the baby two months. We were, uh, we were laying a prefabricated floor. Uh, it was bamboo and I was making a notch cut out of a piece of wood and I began with uh, you know a simple little hand tool to, to cut it and I decided you know it's just it was taking too long. I took it over the table saw and I began to I had dropped the blade all the way down into the table and with the blade spinning um, that eventually it had caught the bamboo. So once it grabbed the, the, the bamboo, it had pulled my hand across the top of a blade and came all the way, you know, as it shot the piece of wood. I happened to look over and my, my left hand had been fully extended and was just split open. So, um... I guess when your confidence is taken away, then a lot of things can get uneasy in the in a family structure. You know, I think every marriage would, you know, does go through these these types of things, and it's not unnormal. But it's getting through that process of just the, the strife. And, you know, it was at the point where we hated each other. You know, you know, waking up and just being kind of discuss it with each other and we didn't know why you were just there's just this tension as he started his ring shop and started you know making sales and being productive and having a good product his confidence went up a lot and there was definitely a shift in our marriage of um, kind of a not necessarily because of the rings because even if the rings weren't happening we would still be where we are but um, there was definitely a shift that something happened and everything was smoother and we had more respect for each other. I can't stay on workman's comp forever, you know, that ends no matter what and I have to figure out what I want to do. So I got into making toys just for my daughter, I was making little wood toys. And then when he learned about rings, I remember him being, like seeing that like hope in him and excitement in it. So I began, uh, just really applying myself to learn about wooden rings and um, you know I figured that you know just drill them out and things like that and um, I learned a process of, of a bent wood process and I was bending the wood and I was actually to create a stronger wood a stronger wooden ring that you know would last longer than um, a ring that was drilled out or even turned on a lathe. I probably have over 180 different kinds of woods and they can be used so people can, if they don't see something that, you know, that I have pictured or, you know, that's online or, you know, they can, they inquire and be like, hey, do you, do you use this wood? I think it's awesome that he has a passion for wood and a passion for the gems 
and his rings are beautiful. They're always, every time he shows me, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I always tell him like, oh, that's my favorite. I'm getting some people that are coming to me and they're like, you know, I've, I've had these, these rings passed on to me from my, my grandparents and I just want to be able to wear that stone or that diamond. And, you know, I can't wear my rings. So, you know, they're coming to me and you know, like, they see that, you know, I'm incorporating gems. You know, some people have memories of collecting shells together as a couple and um, you know they can incorporate you know those shells into the into their rings sending wood from your you know their family farm that they grew up on or you know even if they you know tore up a wood floor that of a house that they grew up in they, you know to preserve that kind of memory they can you know they can send that that wood to me and it gives more of a meaning and more of a personality to the ring as opposed to buying something from you know mass produced jewelry store and he's really amazing at customer service the way he emails people and talks to them I'm like wow I don't know if I could ever spend that much time on an email and like making people feel at home with him I also like working with companies that do do fair trade or you know people making guitar they can send me their you know I you know I buy their scrap wood off them and and just uh utilize that for you know my customers so I recently created my own my own wax, and I love this wax. That, you know, it's easy to apply, and then it also dries really hard around the ring. And so, what the wax is creating is a is a protective layer to the actual finish that is protecting the wood. So as long as you maintain that wax, you will never really um, damage the the actual finish of the ring, and then ultimately damage the wood. The bent wood process is, is, is a process. Like it, you know, it takes time, and and I love to be able to. I don't want to ever become like a factory of mass producing these rings where, you know, it just becomes factory work. Like it, like I, I want people to know that I'm putting my heart into each one, and I'm taking time with each one. I think there is kind of a, I mean, a power and energy that you can put into your craft and I think that he puts that into his craft so say someone is needing joy or healing or something I feel like Jonathan's energy and life and heart is like poured into his craft and that it actually produces some sort of fruit or some sort of blessing in that person's life who receives the ring.